Well, Galtier and Capaquin will contest the county senior camogie final on Saturday afternoon for a four o'clock throw-in in the WIT Arena. Capaquin are preparing for their first final since the club was reformed in 1998. And Lorraine Bray is on the line uh, to tell us more. And uh, Lorraine, is the excitement really building around the town and the club ahead of uh, Saturday's final? Yeah, there's a wicked buzz around the place. Um, people are even struggling to find flags and all at this stage there because they've been cleaned out. We had a little pop-up shop and everything and just things flew out the door. So there's great buzz around and everyone's excited. And even within the camp and everything, there's great excitement. Yeah, like from from the pictures I've seen on Facebook in the last few days, there seems to be a lot of red and black around the place. Yeah, the support's unbelievable. And even like after the match and everything, the last days, everyone out in the field like and that's what it's all about meeting everyone and people are putting in so much effort as well to put up stuff and make posters and banners and you know and it's greatly appreciated and everything and it's great to go through the town and it's covered in black and black and red Yeah and, and like you'd, you'd very vocal support Lorraine for that semi-final against De La Salle will there be busloads and carloads now making the trip on Saturday? I hope so um, Cap Queen are very good to support um when we're, we're when we're playing the matches, um, it's great to see everyone, and um, hopefully we'll have a good crowd coming from all around. Hopefully we'll get the West support. Yeah, hopefully there'll be a big crowd in in WIT on Saturday, and like that semi final win against De La Salle, uh, Lorraine was a very emotional one for not only players but management and supporters as well. Why do you think it meant so much for everyone involved? I think it, we've been training all year round, like, and that's where everyone wants to be. Everyone wants to be in a county final. Every club team wants to be there. And um, I think just to finally get there, there's girls there that were very emotional um, because they've been around a long time and it's taken so long, I suppose, to get there and finally we're here. So I suppose it's just to grab the opportunity now with both hands and give it everything on the day. But um, I know it was brilliant and for supporters to see as well because we've never got that far or reached this far. So it was great for them to see as well. Yeah, there seems to be a, a very strong kind of team spirit in the camp Lorraine, like you were five points down in, in, in the first half, but you know, you still had the kind of mental strength to come back in the second half. Yeah, definitely. Um we knew it was within the team as well, like, and it was just to to get that performance out of us. But just to keep going and keep hacking away, even if it was just point by point, getting ourselves back into it. And we did, we came out stronger in the second half again and drove it on again and thank God we came out the right side of it. Yeah, and not only have you beaten De La Salle, you've also beaten uh, Liz Moore in the quarter final on, 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 on along the way to the final. Lorraine, why do you think it's it's come together this year in particular? Um, I think just the management and everything have just been spot on, and trainings and everything, and like people even coming down from college for trainings and stuff like that. Just the dedication and commitment I think this year has been second to none. Like, and the management have put in so much work with us and everything, which obviously is showed in the last few games. Like. We had very two tough games, our last two games, like, and just I think our heart and determination got us through in the end, like, because they were very close games towards the end, and we just ended up pulling it out of the bag, thank God. Yeah, and and, and on a personal note, Lorraine, like, you've moved back from midfield to the half back line uh, this year for both club and county. How have you found that switch so far? Yeah, I wasn't too fond of it now to start, I have to say. Um, I think Joan Lower could agree with me there. But um, no, I do. I grew into it. Like wherever I'm put, I don't. I don't mind where I'm put. Um, I'll give it my best shot wherever I am. And um, yeah, no, I've grown into it, and I, I'm. I've stopped complaining about it. <laughs> very good, very good. And you're up against Galtier now on Saturday. They're defending champions, of course. They're up in the All Ireland Intermediate Final earlier in the year. What, what's your like? What's your record like against them in recent years, Lorraine? Um, it's always been a tough battle. They probably have come out the winning side of uh, um, most of the games but it's always a tough game um, and a battle between us like and I think we are stronger again this year and hopefully on Saturday that just our determination and heart and everything will get us over the line but I do think it'll be a, a war zone on the day but we'll give it everything anyway. Well it's all underway at 4 o'clock on Saturday in the WT Arena Gaul Tier versus Kappa Quinn in the County Senior Camogie Final so uh, Lorraine thanks very much uh, for taking our call today. Thanks a million, Charles. Thank you.